Welcome to Trippy Channel. In this getting started video, you will learn how to create your on-road roadbooks with our Road Tracer Pro software. Here is our agenda. Now and each time this agenda will show up, you can jump forward or backwards to a given section by clicking the corresponding row. We will first make sure you did install the necessary software. Then we will look at some key definitions. In step 1, we will see how to show the starting location on your map. In step 2, you will learn how to draw your track, extract your waypoints and preview your printout. In step 3, we will be saving your electronic roadbook file. In step 4, we will show you how to edit the track and add context to your notes. In step 5, we will be working with Google Maps in the background. And finally, in step 6, we will see how you can publish your paper roadbook under printable PDF format. So let's first check whether you did your homework. You have installed your Road Tracer Pro on your PC. Also, you should have installed the Teleatlas vector maps of the countries that you'll need. And finally, your software and hardware have been registered. Now let's try to define some key terms used in our system. The track is a collection of points, actually geographical coordinates, all along a route. Here we show you two different type of tracks. A track recorded by the Trippy hardware, almost following the road on the map, and another track generated by Road Tracer Pro, exactly following the road on the map. A waypoint for Trippy is a point requiring special attention of the driver. We put waypoints mainly at intersections. It corresponds to a note shown on the hardware screen. It is not a via to force routing between start and arrival. A dot arrow symbol is a simplified representation of an intersection at a waypoint. The dot represents the entry point of the vehicle and the arrow the exit point. Trippy displays a clear and large dot arrow symbol until the intersection is reached. After this point is passed, Trippy displays the dot arrow symbol of the next waypoint. The distance to this waypoint is clearly shown and is decreasing in real time. Routing is the action of drawing a route. Road Tracer calculates the route between two track points you dropped on the map. As shown in the example, contrary to conventional GPS routing, the dropped points are close enough to really select the smaller roads you really want to explore. Here comes the real stuff. In step 1 we will see how to show the starting location on your map. First start Road Tracer. The software opens the map at the location and zoom level you left the program last time. Here we are in Göteborg, Sweden. The place where our roadbook starts is a picturesque village called Henon in Sweden. To show this place on the map, click View and select Find Location. Enter the location name, don't worry for Swedish characters. Click Search, a list of places containing the search string is shown. Here we select Henon from Sweden. Make sure the Zoom On box is checked and hit Show on the map. Close the search location wizard, the relevant place is shown on the map. To zoom out, select the zoom out tool and click the map stepwise. To move the map by grabbing it, take the hand tool and hold the left mouse button pressed while you drag the map. To move the map by steps, you can click the corresponding edges or corners. In step 2 we will draw a track, have Road Tracer extracting the waypoints and preview the roadbook printout. Before routing a new roadbook, make sure the zoom level allows you to locate the starting point accurately. 
First select the point and segment tool from the toolbar, right click where the roadbook starts, here a small hotel located at the Orwege. Select routing from the drop down menu, drop points by clicking the road where you want the roadbook to pass, zoom out to get a wider view of the area, use the edges and other tools to move the map where you want and you can further drop points where you find appropriate. As we are now in routing mode, you need to drop your points on roads that are shown on the Teleatlas vector map. Otherwise, Road Tracer won't be able to create your track. No stress if you make a mistake. You can undo the preceding routing steps by hitting the keys Ctrl Z as much time as you need to come back to the previous situation. Reroute using the roads you want to take. When you're ready, right click to open the drop down menu and select Stop Routing. The system asks whether you want to generate the waypoints with dot arrow symbols. Click Yes. In no time, Road Tracer creates the waypoints and dot arrow symbols at all key intersections. You're now ready to preview your paper roadbook. Just click on File Print from the menu. Say you select Roadbook Portrait for example and here is the result. Next to the dot arrow symbols the paper roadbook includes information such as distance to the next waypoint, cumulated distance, location name, street name or road number etc. In step 3 we will be saving our roadbook. Now that our roadbook is complete, let's have it displayed full screen using the Show Track tool. To save our roadbook, click on File and select Save As. The Save command is not available at this stage. Give a file name to it, a Windows file, and click Save. The Roadbook Properties window opens. Give a roadbook name to it. This name is the name that will appear in the Trippy hardware. Optionally, you can enter the country and region names. This form allows you also to enter the last run date, a file version and change the track color. Click OK. Your roadbook is saved on your PC. In step 4, we show you how to edit the track and add context to your notes. Let's imagine you find a circuit too short and want to make it longer. Grab the map with the hand tool to move towards the area you want to extend. Select the point and segment tool. Click a first point on the track while holding the caps key. Click a second point on the track, release the caps key. The portion selected in between is highlighted green. Press delete. The selected portion is removed. You can undo this action with the shortcut Ctrl-Z. Click on the junction part of the track, right-click on the track and select Routing from the drop-down menu. Start dropping points by clicking the roads on the map where you want the modified circuit to pass. If you did a mistake, just undo with the key combination Ctrl-Z and redo your routing. When completed, right-click and select Stop Routing from the drop-down menu. Answer yes to the question whether Road Tracer should generate the waypoints with dot arrow symbols. To save the modified roadbook under the same name, click Save, or under a new name, click Save As. If you took Save As, update the roadbook properties form. Check the new distance and click OK. Let's say that we want to inform the driver that a restaurant is available in Svanesund, 1.2 km away from waypoint 23. Zoom in the relevant waypoint, select the point and segment tool and click on the waypoint to select it. The waypoint tag becomes purple and the corresponding dot arrow symbol appears in the editor zone on the left. Go to the editor and click on the line symbol to add a line. Relocate and resize this line as you want 
Add an arrow at the red end by clicking the relevant option. Now press the Add Image icon from the Waypoint Editor toolbar. From the image library, double-click the pictogram you'd like to add to the screen of your waypoint. Grab the image in the editor by clicking and holding the mouse button pressed. Release the mouse button when the object is where you want. Click the text icon from the waypoint editor toolbar. Type the text in the relevant field and reposition it by grabbing it the same way you did for the image. The customized layout of Waypoint 23 is now ready to be displayed to the driver. Optionally, you can add non-graphic information in the Waypoint properties, like a Waypoint name, a danger zone or whatever. This information will be displayed both on the Trippy hardware and in the printouts. And finally, do not forget to save your work after editing your electronic roadbook. In step 5, we see how we can work using Google Maps in the background. Say that we are starting from Henan on day 2 and that we want to create a new roadbook. Here we start from the normal Teleatlas vector maps. To work under Google Maps, just select Google in the map selector. The system toggles to Google Maps. You can continue to draw or edit your track in this environment the same way as explained before, provided that the Teleatlas vector maps for the relevant region are installed on your machine. You can stop routing and generate the dot arrow symbols whenever you want. Also, you can toggle to Satellite View by first selecting the Point and Segment tool and then click on the Sat button. And finally, you can zoom very close until you see the details of the backyards. And finally, in step 6, we publish our paper roadbook as a printable PDF file. To print a roadbook as PDF file, click File Print. Select whether you want to print the map or the roadbook. Select the template you want to use, here we take the portrait template. Click OK. A preview is displayed. To save your file as PDF, click the Acrobat icon in the toolbar. Leave the options as they are and click OK. Your PDF roadbook is saved at the desired location. The same method applies for maps being Teleatlas or Google. Thank you for watching. Don't miss other interesting videos on Trippy Channel.